Hello everybody, you're watching the Sega Driven YouTube channel and we're continuing our Christmas Sage 2023 coverage. In this video, we're looking at DreamShot Fantasia's Kickstarter demo, which is developed by Miracle. DreamShot Fantasia is a fun little title if you do like your tile matching games, but it does bring something different and innovative to the mix. The Kickstarter demo, which brings an 80s anime style aesthetic and a fantastic soundtrack to boot while you take the main character, Judy, on their adventure. Now, the main change that DreamShot Fantasia brings to the tile matching genre is the ability to shoot tiles onto the field from left or the right side of the board, while still allowing you to move your colours and pieces as you need to. And you're also able to move the game state with your pieces depending on which side you throw it from the left or right. The demo brings both controller and keyboard support, although I would be rather remiss if I didn't mention that I found that the D-pad support on the controller very hit or miss at times, and I ended up having to use the analog stick, and I went back after the recording and tried keyboard specifically, which my fingers found way too more difficult at times compared to like a standard controller. But I imagine D-pad support being fixed would be something that would, could be fixed in future builds. The tutorial level itself is very fast paced once you get through the actual steps and even someone who is versed well in some Tetris and Poyo gameplay, I found it very difficult to complete in the five minute time that you have. May this might be something that would be a, a better non-introductory level in my opinion. Either way, I do suggest if you are a fan of the tile matching genre, give it a shot. You can grab the demo from the Christmas Sage or their Kickstarter page. You can also take place in their high score challenge, which is going on till the end of their Kickstarter, which is on till December the 30th. Let us know in the comments below what you thought, if you gave it a shot, and if you got a decent score yourself. I managed 9,000 as my best, and I didn't beat the tutorial, so good luck to you.